can't believe I fucked up again with the scheduling and this time, big time. So good news school meeting with Lior this morning. We've kind of discussed and reached an agreement to change the business model of Prospero. I'll tell you more later on this week about it. But here's what I wanted to tell you. You remember last week I did a workshop, productivity workshop for a group of Orthodox women. So today I have to do this workshop again, but this time for a group of Orthodox men. It's kind of the same organization, but they have to, because they're religious, they have to divide it to men and women. So today I'm doing a workshop for the men and I've completely forgot about it. Not only I forgot about it, I've actually scheduled the, the creative presentation for the VC project I'm doing at the same hour today. And then when I realized it last week, I kind of had to change everything and I felt so bad telling you know the VC company that I have to change the date for my presentation. The, I've set the date for it looks so stupid and unprofessional i suck so bad at the scheduling and not only this i've also messed up and now i have to change some of the interviews i've set up and some of the interviews were scheduled in the wrong time zones i have so many fuck ups doing the scheduling i really wish <laughs> i wish i could have a secretary really I, I wish i'll be at the position where i can have somebody to take care of this because i suck so bad at this and it really, it really hurts me, I think, professionally, the fact that I can't get it right, can't remember everything I have to do, try to do too many things at once, and then, ah, anyway, I feel really bad about it, but I still hope to give a good presentation today at the workshop, and I've scheduled the, the creative presentation, the branding project for tomorrow, and I've actually finished doing the branding project during, during the weekend, which was intense as well, but I'm super happy with the presentation I have, so that's a good thing. So now I'm back at Lior's house. I'm gonna take a little nap and then try to practice the workshop and head over. All right, so I took some nap went over the workshop materials and I feel prepared. I'm heading to Nebrak, it's a city next to Tel Aviv where the, it's kind of a religious city where the workshop will be held. Um, yeah, feeling energized, feeling pumped. I'm gonna rock this workshop. Right, so I'm here, never been in this part of town before. It's pretty different from Tel Aviv, it's so close. Anyway, hope it's gonna be a good workshop. So, workshop is over. And I'm heading back home, pretty tired. The fact that I had two workshops every week for the past two weeks plus a branding project is just, it's just bad planning. And it was my mistake, I shouldn't have done that and I'll try not to do that again. And all my scheduling mishaps, I try to use this tool, Acuity, uh, Acuity Scheduling that I told you about and apparently it did not help me but it create even more mistakes, times on mistakes. So I'm gonna try a different tool. Lior told me about a tool called Calendly today that I'm gonna try. 
but I just I just need to learn to schedule better and plan better every time I start telling people I'm too busy I'm sorry I'm too busy it just means that something went wrong and I need to change something so this week starting this week and hopefully next week is gonna be more relaxed I'm gonna try to make a change anyway right now I'm heading home I haven't eaten anything and I'm super hungry and tired hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you tomorrow